the first thing I want to tell you this morning without an emphatical doubt, God is always with us no matter what context or situation our life is in. The world may turn upside down. It turned completely upside down for Joseph. Joseph had not, could not recognize his life any longer because whatever he knew was his life was completely flipped and turned upside down because of what decisions his brothers made. As a result, he had to live with those consequences of other people's decisions. That's not very fair, is it? But yet in the midst of this unfair picture, It tells us that the Lord was with Joseph. I want to tell you, God is always with us. It makes no difference what we go through, what we experience, what our obstacles are. But I'm telling you, when we don't recognize it, we don't see it, we think the very opposite. There's many times that I've been in situations where I've asked God, where are you? Where are you? Because I think in my mind, if he was with me, that wouldn't have happened. And that's a wrong understanding because just because he's with me doesn't keep me from any difficulties. It doesn't keep me from tragedy. It doesn't keep me from walking into obstacles that sometimes other people have created for me that I have to overcome. It doesn't negate the fact that God with me. He says three times the Lord is with you. Verse 2, and the Lord was with Joseph. And then again, verse 21, but the Lord was with Joseph. You see, the circumstances got even worse. He was sold into Potiphar's house and... And Potiphar knew there was something different to Joseph because he was a man of character and integrity and he, he, he mastered the moments. Joseph always mastered the moments. And as a result, he seen there was favor on his life and before he knew it, a slave became a master in his own home. He didn't worry about anything about him other than what he would, what he would eat. I don't know about you, but I'd look at that and say, that's successful. Joseph is successful. Look at God's hand is on his life. And yet we find in the midst of the success, there was another thing that shifted and turned in his life. And what he thought was going to be his ticket out of Dodge was actually a one-way ticket to a prison cell. And if we study in how long Joseph stayed in prison, he stayed in prison for 11 years. 11 years. Locked up for 11 years. Falsely accused of doing something he would never dream of doing. But there he was. And the amazing thing is, after thrown in prison, in verse 21, it says, and the Lord was with Joseph in the prison, because he never left him, and showed him his faithful love. If we're not looking in the right places, we miss what God's doing. How do we define success? How do we define success? I want to tell you, first of all, God never leaves us. When things fall apart and the circumstances seem to be crushed all around us, when we think the circumstances seem to get the best of us, I'm telling you, God has never left us. He never, ever leaves us. God was as faithful with Joseph when he was first born, raised in the family as he was in Potiphar's house, as he was in prison, and when he became second in command of the entire country of Egypt, God never, ever left him. I want us to understand that because we question that too much because we base our circumstances on what favor looks like or what success looks like. And I want to tell you that when we're walking with Jesus, no matter what we go through and what we face, we will always have success. It may look different at the moment, but it's like that picture. It seems like chaos, but in the end it's something magnificent that draws drop because of what just happened. I don't ever want us to give up hope. I never want us to dive in and dis- into despair. I know it's easy to do. I'm prone to do that kind of stuff. Man, the revelation that God is with us. He will never leave us hanging. He never left Joseph hanging. So what does this have to do but turning our life up, turning our world upside down? We need to trust God, we need to put our faith in his word. We need to rely on his truth and hang on to his promises. In the midst of the moments that bring greatest pressure to us. I wrote a little note on my phone here. It says this. Oftentimes we allow success to be defined when things go our way. Or when things are always in our favor. But really success is defined when we plow through stuff and overcome the different obstacles that are in front of us. Let me say this. You can serve God and be in a mess. You can serve God 
and be in a mess. God will use us before we have it all together. God will use us before we have it all put together because we are in process and that's the qualifier. We're in process.